What's good, y'all? So I'm back with another video, and today topic of discussion is the towel. I'm sorry, I had it upside down. I didn't want it upside down, but the towel. So the towel is what you can't avoid. It is unseen and unexpected change, chaos and destruction. So the tower itself is basically things that's built off like rocky foundations type shit. So it's like your goals and your dreams and your wants and aspirations was basically built off of um false premises if that makes sense and so um this tower is basically going to occur when things may seem up and up for you type shit but maybe some shit you did in the past could be present i don't know future in it future i don't know what you did but you have to have these tower moments for sudden change. You have to learn and grow from them. So maybe, you know, if you are going through a tower moment, it could be um, maybe an ending to finances for a new op job opportunity to come in. Maybe you lost your home or your apartment. Well, I just know this tower moment had to happen for you to lose your apartment so you can, the most high can open a door for you to a home that you can buy. Maybe some acres, you feel what I'm saying? Or maybe that divorce happened. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, or a sudden death or suicide. Um, You uh, lose your vehicle type shit. All these things have to happen for new things to come in. If you lost something old, you have to make room for some new type shit. So with that being said, let me elaborate a little bit. Okay, so let's just say you're going to work and all of a sudden you just lose everything. Things around you start falling, possibly people, places, and things. You know why they have to happen? For new to come in, for you to to grow and develop as a person, as a human being. For you to reach your purest form of life. For you to um, achieve all your goals. For you to find your highest purpose in life. Sometimes these tired moments have to occur because maybe you need to slow down. You might be moving too fast. Maybe you just met somebody within three months and you're trying to be married within the next year. Things have to happen so you can see what's going on. So you can take a step back from life and actually see what's going on around you. You cannot avoid a tire moment ever in life. You can't fear the unknown or sudden change either. Change has to happen. Change is healthy. You feel what I'm saying? And not all change is good change. So just know that. 333, not all change is good change. You feel what I'm saying? But let me elaborate just a little more as far as the tower go. You could, uh, uh, oh, excuse me. There can be a, maybe a, a person who is having a mental breakdown, going through some type of depression, anxiety, or fear of change. But this change is still going to occur for your new life path. So you can't avoid it at all. Maybe uh, something is going on that's violent around you. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe you're violent. Maybe as far as an abuser go. You feel what I'm saying? And it's time for that cycle to type to end. Maybe you was with somebody in a relationship, marriage, or situationship and there was a lot of abuse mentally physically and emotionally even spiritually or wasn't enough spiritual things happening in that relationship this tower moment had to happen possibly so you can sit by yourself and figure out what it is that you want in life you know what i'm saying 
Maybe you're a people pleaser. Maybe you went through life all your life listening to what people tell you and what you should and shouldn't do and what you can't do and don't do this and don't do that. Maybe you're around fake people and a lot of miserable people who is stuck and stagnant and um, the divine like, nah, um, you're not going to be stuck. You're going to have this terrible moment, so you're going to learn what not to do. You see what's going on around you? That's not what you want. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, these terrible moments have to have to happen. Change is great. It's healthy. If you keep doing the same thing that you've always got, you're going to, I mean, that you've always done, that you've been doing, you're going to get what you've always got, 555. Five, five. So you need change. If you're around people in places and things that don't no longer serve you and they're still in the same spot, and you're trying to ascend, you lead those people where they stand. That's probably why this tired moment has to occur as well. You probably been doing the same outdated thinking. You probably been in the same neighborhood or lived the same way from a child up until an adult. And it's time to see something different, something better. It's time to explore. It's time to step outside that box. You feel what I'm saying? How do you know? Uh, like what's out there if you're not exploring and you're staying in one spot or in one city sometimes you have to relocate and move around so you can experience the most out of life if that makes sense and i hope i'm not doing too much <laughs> but you have to move around it to get the most out of life like you can't stay you can't have all your eggs in one basket. You can't think one place is where you should be all the time. It's like me getting these messages through YouTube, right? I can't just get my videos on YouTube. I have to expand. I have to go outside sometimes and talk to people. Basically, I got to get up and do the work if that makes sense. It ain't going to come to me. My views ain't going to come to me. I have to get on Instagram. I have to go to Facebook. I have to expand my, my, my business or, you know, like get my messages to reach millions and billions of people across the world. I have to get up, get out and do something. I have to move around from um, things that make me comfortable. I need to move into uncomfort. Sometimes the most high will put you in uncomfortable positions. Just to see if you're going to make it out. So if you've been in this same position for so long. Imagine what you can do somewhere else that's unknown. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to think about that. That's deep as fuck, bro. So don't let your pride and your ego get in the way. Don't try to avoid this tower moment. Everything will be okay. Everything will work out in divine timing. And... um. You may have experienced some pain, some sorrow, you know, lose, lost a home, lost friends, lost family members, broken homes, and your heart probably broken fucking pieces and you constantly going. Just know in due time, you'll see why you're going through so much and why you have to have this tired moment. You feel what I'm saying? For new to come in. And this tower moment is going to force you to become stronger than you ever would, once was before in your whole fucking life, bro. Then after this tower moment, if you ain't had that, um, that, uh, don't take no shit from nobody because I've been stepped into my willpower a long time ago and not taking no shit from no fucking body. So after that tower moment, that's how you're going to be feeling like, bro, I'm not taking nothing from no one or nothing after I didn't stepped into my willpower and realized how powerful I am. And, you know, I'm happy with my new change. You're going to start to wake up. Once this tower moment happens, you're going to see the world and people, places and things in a whole new light. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, I am hoping that 
I have gave y'all complete, pure, honest, heartfelt messages that you can understand and overstand. I pray the Most High guide your footsteps. I pray the universe guide you. I pray your the angels, archangels are protecting you and watching you and also guide you and help you get through this time moment. And I'm praying that everything that you're wishing to come to life, that it will manifest, especially if it's of good. I'm praying that you reach your highest goals and your highest potential and explore your your gifts. And thanks for watching. Thanks for old subscribers. Thanks for the new subscribers. Um, I'm not feeling my best, so I'm trying my best to make videos. And, you know, I'm hoping and praying that I be okay. Because I have not been feeling myself. But I will be alright though. 11 11. I'm always going to be straight. But I appreciate y'all watching my channel. And um, I love y'all. And y'all don't know how much it means for people to just listen. It's hard for people to listen when you talk. People be quick to respond but not quick to hear what you have to say. You always should be slow to respond to a motherfucker and quick to listen but anywho i can talk all damn day 11 44 y'all stay blessed have a blessed night and um i'll see y'all with another video bye bye